part B2. In a good week, Jenny's wage is $1,000 or more. What is the least number of customers that Jenny must serve in order to have a good week? All right, let's work this out in this space here. So, Jenny's wage, in order for Jenny's wage to be a thousand dollars, she must get the six hundred dollars plus the zero point nine times a certain number of customers n. All right. Now, let us subtract 600 from both sides. You minus 600 here. 600 minus itself, that's gone. You minus 600 from the 1000. Remember, I don't have the space to rewrite it again and again and do it in the same line. That's why I do it like this. But you must use up the space on the paper when you're answering this question. Rewrite it, put the space there, and minus. And remember, you don't move the 600 over the left and it becomes negative. There is no mathematical operation known as move. All right? It's subtraction. You must, what you do is subtract the 600. So 600, 1000 minus 600 would give you 400. So 400 is equal to 0 0.9 N. Then, you when you you want n equal you don't want 0 0.9 n equal so you need to get rid of the 0 0.9 you divide by 0 0.9 and divide by 0 0.9 here do the same thing on both sides 0 0.9 cancels 0 0.9 so you have n on alone on one side 400 over 0 0.9 so you get 400 over 0.9 equals 444. Now, this says 444.444. Let's use that. 444.444. So, let's write that down. Let's get rid of the, let's get rid of the calculator out of the way so we have here 444.444 now the number of customers n equals no the thing is if jenny serves 444 her pay will drop below the one thousand dollars and you don't have 444.444 customers. It must be a whole number. So you need to jack this number up to the next whole number. So she needs to serve 445 customers in order to have a thousand dollars or more. At least 445 customers. So the least number of customers to have a good week is 445 customers.